today's video, we are going to use this code reader to see what diagnostic trouble codes are set in a vehicle. So if you have your check engine light on, we can use this to see why that check engine light is lit and we will discuss the codes that we read off of the vehicle. This is not a sponsored uh, video. I bought this for approximately $65 at Princess Auto in Canada in March of 2023. And let's see what we have in our package. And all that's in the package is the little instruction manual and the code reader itself. Take off that little piece of plastic there. We have to connect our code reader to the data link connector on the vehicle, which is generally on your driver's side. And see if you can see this right there. Now, hopefully, I can put this on and the, the uh, code reader should power up as soon as we're connected in there. I hope that came out. Okay, and there is our code reader, which, as we said, is powered up. This car has the check engine light on all the time. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna start it up. There's all sorts of other lights lit too, but the one we're concerned about here is the check engine light over on the left. Our instruction booklet for the code reader said that we should be able to connect it to the DLC, the port, and that we would read the code. So I tried that and actually what it does is it goes through a little loop with a couple of messages and then it ends with a link error. Now, having used these code readers before, I realized that for the other one I've had to work, you gotta put ignition to on, and then we'll get our codes. And that actually worked, so I'm just gonna reconnect this Hopefully you can see this to our port there. And we'll go through the messages we get. So we get that can OBD2. I hit enter. Does a scan. And it says read. Um, Diagnostic trouble codes comes up. We'll hit enter on that. Uh, okay, so we get that fault to pen to. I think I hit scroll here. Let's try that. Uh, that, that shows up. Okay, hold on a second now. Fault, okay, enter on that. Here we go, so here's our codes. Uh, P0457. One of four. I'll hit the scroll. Trouble code zero zero three eight two of four. Zero four five seven and a PD after three of four. And zero three eight with the PD. So we'll look those up. Um, okay, if we scroll down, I think it just keeps. Yeah, it goes through the loop there. One. Okay, so let's go enter. And we're going to scroll on our menu here. So I scroll down once, this is a race. And we're going to hit enter again. Erase done. All right. Uh, we'll hit the, I say enter, but it's actually enter exit is what's marked on our little button. So we'll hit that again. Uh, okay, so we're in a loop. I wonder, is the scroll over to no? Mm, 
Okay, so you get that. Let's, uh, how do we get back to the main menu here? Scroll down. That gets your VIN number. Rescan. Let's let's rescan and see if our codes still show up in there. Then we'll take the car for a drive and see what if our codes come back. Okay, diagnostic trouble codes is number one. No codes. Okay, so that's good. So it has cleared them. It is the following day. I've driven the car about 80 miles yesterday. So that should be enough to see what codes come back in. So we just connected our code reader. We're going to hit the enter key. It's scanning. Trying to get this so that you can see the screen here. Okay, read. Okay, diagnostic trouble codes. Enter. Looks like we got what, three faults there. Enter. Oh, okay, so again, one of six. So it looks like six codes. So it's thrown some more. And we'll, uh, so the first one is obviously the four, five, seven. Ah, shoot, I hit enter again. Okay, DTC. Scroll down. One of six is the 457. Two is 456. As I said, we'll look through each code later. Number three. Number four. And number six. And this will bring us back to number one again. And just for kicks, we'll go look those up. We'll scroll down our menu to erase, just to go over the process again. Erase, yes. And there we go. Once you're at this point, you've read the codes off of the vehicle. We reset them and these codes came back in. So now you're ready to look them up. I happen to have a, a maintenance manual for this vehicle, but there's lots of good sites on the internet. If you put in di diagnostic trouble codes, you'll find lots of sites that'll tell you what they mean. But just to illustrate it, so we had a P0038. Hopefully you can see this. This says oxygen sensor, heater circuit high voltage. We'll go over, flip a page, P0456, and as far as the oxygen sensor thing goes, unless you have a, a pretty new vehicle, chances are you're going to have an oxygen sensor code. Here, P0456, that's an EVAP system, small leak, and P0457, says loose fuel cap. This vehicle has been, um, uh, it's got that indicator on the dash for the fuel cap. If, if it was a newer vehicle, I'd go get a new fuel cap, see if that would uh, clear the issue. At any rate, that's, uh, I just wanted to give you the general idea of where to go once you've got your codes. I uh, hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.